little perspective for you here on a Blue Friday. I know a lot of you excited about the big game this weekend. A lot of you thinking about the holidays, maybe all the money you spent. You know, the things that don't really matter. I want to talk about something that really matters today. Real life stuff here with a friend of the show. You might remember the great Tim Durkin. He has been so kind to us. Yes, brother of our mayor. That's right. Photographer extraordinaire. You've Thank shared you. so many amazing images from the eclipse. It's Tim Durkin. Hey, Tim. What's going on, everybody? The behind the scenes with Pearl Jam. Yeah, all right. There is one image that you have not shared with everybody. That's right. And today you have decided it was time to talk about it and time to invite us along for a very important appointment. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I thank you for this, uh, this, uh, this moment in time. It's a big day as I walk in uh, to uh, Kaiser uh, Cancer Infusion Center up here on Capitol Hill uh, for what will hopefully be my last infusion for lymphoma, which I was diagnosed with back in September, to be specific. I've kept it under wraps. It's one of those things that was very uh, shocking, hard to believe. Uh, it was happening to me at the time. It took a couple weeks just to kind of sink in. But What's today going to look like? You get a little bit of juice, some Lorna Dove cookies, which I'm going to score. Uh, they give you a little saline IV just to kind of flush the lines. And then about uh, half an hour, 45 minutes into the, the process, uh, the chemotherapy uh, gets going. And that lasts about an hour and a half. You did it, Tim. Just about all done with this stuff. Everything is going well. So far, the cancer looks like it is uh, in remission. Today's last infusion will be followed by some tests to make sure that is the case. And uh, with any luck, in a couple of weeks, we'll come back and talk about how I don't have to do this again. And uh, it's a good day. Go Hawks. Tim Durkin, everybody. Now, a huge thank you to Tim uh, for doing that. That really was kind of spur of the moment. He just texted me this morning as we were heading out the door and said, I think I'm ready. Uh, he confided in me a couple of months ago his diagnosis. Obviously, very, very scary. Mm -hmm. um, but he is doing quite well. They are very hopeful that this was his last uh, visit there. Uh, and I should also say thank you to Kaiser Permanente. They were more than gracious to us today and said, please come and please tell the story. We do. We need to raise awareness. We need to raise money. Let's keep doing this. So a uh, big thank you. And thanks to Tim for being brave. He did not have to share this news, but he did it because he knows there's a lot of people out there dealing with this, whether it's a family member or somebody else. Uh, we're all fighting this battle together, mm -hmm. and he uh, simply wanted to motivate other people to say, you're not alone. You're not alone out there. Well, and the least we can do is send him as much positive energy as we can, considering everything he's done for us with yeah. sharing the beauty of where we live. Well, something you didn't see in the story was big sister there. That was his big sister, Mayor Jenny's sister, by the way. That was his sister, Ryan. Uh, he basically said, no, when I get done today, I'm... In fact, I haven't got to do this in a long time. I'm going to go walk around Capitol Hill. I'm going to go walk around Broadway. He's friends of a lot of the folks there. He takes photos. He documents. Mm -hmm. Certainly does a lot of great work with the homeless. And he said, I'm going to get out tonight. It's going to be a good night for me to get out. His big sister Ryan got in his face and said, no, you're not. <laughs> you're going to be at home sleeping, right? That's what you tell me. You're going to be going home. So That's we love you, Tim. Cool. Rest.